Right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Calling Birmingham. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing, my good buddy? Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is your day, first time day two coming into the... This is my first game of the day. Yeah. Uh, this is my first game of the day, and we have a absolute belter Ooh. of a matchup for you. Uh, we're going to see some dragons. Dragon. And we're going to see some uh, some arrows, I believe. <gasps> oh, really? Are we, so are we got the Dromai versus Lexi matchup? Oh, no, Hamish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We've got something even better. We've got Dromai versus Azalea. No. That's right. Wow. Azalea, day two of the calling, playing up against the Dromai. But we're going we're gonna to have a look at Dromai first. The cards to look, watch out for. Uh, yeah. This chrome mine is actually pretty Im important, right? Yeah, uh, big time, big time. Chrome mine is one of those uh, is one of those dragons that is able to really push and extend that turn. So we, if you've got that popper, it's like it's cool, it's fine. I get another action point, and um, also it also enables lots of turn of find out turns, as well as just um, just lots of those. You know, it's a very it's a very important card. Uh, and yeah, we, we're gonna we, we didn't really touch on the other two, but passing Mirage is gonna be very useful. Maybe, maybe not so much in this matchup. Maybe but, not um, in this but matchup. maybe in more the controlling games. Uh, we have this is uh, round two of day two, and we got three more rounds after this. Five rounds in total today before we cut to top eight. And some key cards to look out for Azalea as well. A big one, obviously. Red in the ledger is huge things. Spire sniping is one of those brand new cards that came out in Outsiders that's just really been able to help do the um, do some opting for Azalea's ability and remorseless. It's, um, it's going to be a pain against the Dromai because I believe um, Dromai's like to have a lot of defense reactions. Yes, that is true. But um, I think Red and the Legend is going to be good at shutting down those wide turns as well. Uh, going to try, the, the Azalea is going to have to try and hit this Dromai with some disruption. Mm -hmm. uh, who's, your, who's your money on, Hamish? Um, I... Uh, oh, I we're we're going to remain open. I'm but... not. I'm going to say that Dromai is going to win it. Uh, I think that's a... That's a... I'm not I, think, I think you're a safe bet, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I, this is day two, the calling Birmingham, everybody. Anything can happen. We've seen, You've got we've some of the best players things. in Europe, some of the best players in the world here at this tournament. And if anyone can win with Azalea, it would be the people here today. If anyone can win, it would be the people here today. Absolutely. We will find out very shortly um, as we go live to the table. Ah uh, yeah, Dromai versus Azalea. Yeah, it's this gonna be is, a fun one. Yeah, it is. Um, I, I am. I think I'm in green here, but uh, I will say, you know, never say never. But let's just go by what we, you know, what we know in terms of the favorability. It does look like this is this is a matchup that Dromai feels slightly comfortable with, just because of the ability of being able to have a lot of um, board state on mm. the board. Which, you know, it's, it's and Azalea's ability to deal with that yeah and um, um it's it, it azalea likes to go tall normally likes to go very big um but that's going to be very difficult to deal with multiple dragons yeah yeah absolutely it's um, it's the classic uh, illusionist um bullying on people that struggle to have lots of action points or don't have a weapon exactly and uh, uh, we've seen a few builds of dramai out there in the world we've got red line we going extremely aggressive uh, but you can also play Dromai in a very controlling way. You can uh, can block a lot, build important dragons, set up a really incredible pitch stack using uh, Chromai and the additional action points you can get from Chromai yeah. uh, to just build an overpowering board state. Um, the other thing is that uh, Tomaltai, always able to kill equipment. Oh. Azalea, big fan of uh, a lot of that equipment. Yeah, if that Tomaltai comes down and completely annihilates that helmet, um, Stefano, who is on Azalea, is going to have a hard time. It's going to be pretty and, rough. And even maybe Tunic, the, the Tunic resource uh, is quite important to you, enabling some turns. There's a term called the blind Azalea, where you, so you, how Azalea works is, is that you will put the card in Arsenal to the bottom mm -hmm. of your deck, and the top card goes into your Arsenal instead. If it's an arrow card, it gains Dominate. Do you want to just, do you want to do that blind? You don't know what's coming. Mm. Yeah. Where's the um, the skull wrap? Skull wrap? Skull bone cross wrap. Skull, skull bone cross wrap. Uh, lets you be able to opt to have a look at the top card of your deck to make sure it is what it is. But Azalea doesn't really want to do the um, 
the blind azalea as we as the as the community calls it so if um Tom and i think take yeah, that out, you know the, the other thing is like we, we've got a seven and one azalea here they're going to be setting up something big um they're going to have played into Dromai before they're going to have done their testing they've made they, it this far yeah they're going to have a plan we, we've talked about this before with 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 lexis but it's you know setting up that pitch stack setting up that that turn that they're going to use to try and win the game uh and yeah stefano very very talented player uh and jamie faulkner too big name in the uk community been repping Dramai for a very long time. Um, looks like we're seeing, of course, um, one thing that we, we haven't mentioned is that the uh, the hit on Bullseye Braces that was mainly to affect Lexi, obviously has a huge effect on Azalea. Yeah. They've lost their easy AB1, uh, and they've also lost their ability to just load an arrow to maybe go a little bit wider, which is going to be really tricky if they actually need to deal with some of these dragons and play multiple arrows in one turn. Absolutely. So they've a lot of them seem to have been taking out the braces of belief. Do you believe it? I think it's the only choice they've got. Do you believe it? <laughs> uh, I believe it. I'm, I'm willing to see it. You know, it's it's a buff, right? It is. And then Jamie's coming in with the equipment with the um, Crown of Providence, the Furnace, the Waves of Reality, and the Seekers Leggings. That tech that a lot of the guys over in the in the is, is it the Dromai Cabal. Mm. I think there's a there's a Dromai Cabal going about. Yeah. And um, yeah, when those Seekers got found out. Um, when Outsiders were dropped, it was just a huge buff. And uh, yeah, Wave of Reality just... Um... Looks like there, Jamie, just playing out the Burn the More, not a relevant card in this matchup for him, just wants to get that out of hand so he can draw more. Uh, obviously, no red cards in the Banish Zone, uh, in the Graveyard, sorry, so not able to Banish, so just going straight to the Grave. Uh, this is a good, early, aggressive start from the Azalea player. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if, if The thing is, though, that... Dremai is known to have uh, plenty of defense reactions, just to play really defensive and well, get that board state set up. That is true, uh, Hamish, but uh, a lot of people might be more familiar with the more aggressive version of Dremai. Like, uh, we, 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 we know Jamie quite well, and we're, we're expecting a more controlling version of this. That's true. Time. That's okay. actually true. That's very true, yeah. I mean, um, but then at the same time, it's not... It, it, it was a style of deck that was taken to the Pro Tour, piloted mm. by Ian Zhang. That there was this really big Dragon's Dremai style. Of, um, I'm not sure whether we, when we will see as we're going through the game whether uh, Jamie has adopted that same sort of massive aggressive style. Um, luckily, we have that sort of benefit of hindsight of playing mm -hmm. a playing a fair amount of games with Jamie, so having a good idea of so, so whether that, he's. That was a, a big aggressive start from the uh, from the Azalea player. For those that missed it, uh, we had Wave of Reality in the the arm slot there with Ward One making a spectral shield when it pops, so kind of preventing two, which took effect on that turn. Jamie also played the Seeker's uh, leggings at the start, like Hamish was saying, yeah. to create that ash early on, leaving himself with the Crown of Providence and the Furnace in the chess piece for those that can't see because of the uh, the slight glare on the screen. It's been really good. I tell you what, that, that wave of reality just doing a huge job, just being able to just comfortably bot for six and then, you know, just having effectively just using that seven block just, just, was, just felt really tidy. And Jamie's just probably going to try and create as much ash as he can while blocking out these turns as effectively as he can. Uh, he, he's probably going to be doing a lot of blocking in this game. We've seen it earlier in day one where we saw people trying to block out Lexis. We saw it from a, a more controlling uh, Dorymphia and a more controlling Bolton. Uh, and, 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 and Jamie's playing an even, probably an even stronger control deck in the form of yeah, I, I imagine so. But then at the same time, this is the a perfect time for Azalea to actually just, you know, this is her moment, right? Because Dromai, as much as she has this amazing board presence and setup, she needs to set up. She, she needs to have that time. So like you're saying, to generate that action, make that board state go. So Azalea has taken this full opportunity to go, this is my moment and I need to make this as impactful and as big as possible. So uh, this is why at this point you're going to see Azalea coming in hot, but Jamie somewhere in the mid game has to find something in there to, um, you know, just to bring it back round. And when we start seeing those dragons drop, that's the moment where we're going to start seeing potentially the turning point. But for now, Azalea is coming in hot. And normally you might, you know, you might see all two Oasis respites in her now. That's a bit rough having to pitch one to play the other. But for Jamie, it's fantastic because he's able to create an ash. Pitching that red Oasis respite to play an Oasis, making an ash, fully blocking out that attack. And he's even been able to develop a dragon here. Yeah, and um, even, you know, even if it's just one little dragon coming out there, you know, it's, 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 it's potentially can be slightly irritating for uh, for azalea who don't doesn't have any means to just get a go again right yeah so Ale lexis can obviously just have that arrow to just come in take out one dragon and then come in some more but azalea you know you know she lacks that so it's working out really you know do i block this up 
Um, am I going to deal with this dragon later on? And the second he deals with one dragon, he's got that tempo back. And the key card here for Azalea is going to be those Bolton shots. The uh, go again if it has attack greater than its base attack. Yeah. Uh, being able to, and, and, and on hit reload, being able to go into a dragon uh, and then shoot another arrow or being able to shoot an arrow go again uh, and then follow up another arrow into a dragon is how he's going to be able to maintain this board state. But of course, he doesn't draw those bottom shots. But then we just see one played into the arsenal there. So hopefully, um, our Azalea player is going to be able to clear the board here and maybe present a little bit of a disruption. But every time you attack a dragon, that's essentially healing Jamie. Uh, for the damage that would have been attacked at him. And in, in order for Bolton Shot to actually get that go again, he needs to put a like a plus three on it. So, you know, how how much of a big hit do you need to do to get a to get the go to get the go again from the attack? Mm. It's not like Azalea where she can just do a cheeky plus one. Exactly. We have the braces of belief. We, so, as we were saying, you know, this does uh, someone in the, in the in the chat commented. This is sort of a pseudo opt, which is obviously incredibly useful for Azalea being able to see the top card of their deck, so that they can use their Azalea hero ability to uh, basically put the top card of their deck in there, in there, it's in the arsenal, handy from... and give it dominate. And we are going to see it here quite early. Mm. Um, Oh, that's not good. I guess it it's fine as long as Stefano wasn't planning on actually attacking because that actually is a non-attack that is not an arrow no but it's, it's it's interesting to see that particular non-attack because it's obviously a buff and it does affect when defense reactions can be used i believe that one is defense reactions can't be played i think from hand because there's another one that's pretty much the same and it's almost the same, almost the same name and that one says you can't play it from the defense uh from the um arsenal so um there we go so he's just coming in with the Bolton shot for just a four. He's got the go again because of the Braces of Belief. And he is now using the Death Dealer to load the um, drill shot. Now coming in with a knot, the Death Whistle to tutor in. What? I would imagine it would be a red and a ledger, maybe, right? I he's, think so. I think because Jamie sort of took a bit of damage here. Uh, I believe Jamie's done some damage there. Um, maybe getting the read that Jamie's yeah. actually trying to do a do do something here. So he's going to play out this red on the ledger, and um, it will get loaded. It will be put on the top of the deck. Yeah, and then uh, we'll uh, be hey. able to Azalea and yeah. load it with dominate. Yeah. So then we can cut. And he's also got that buff as well in hand. The 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 pump effect from the card that he already opted as well. So that's another. Um, you know, when he does the Azalea trick, getting that red le red and ledger into the arsenal. Pump up that next card and coming in for a dominated red and a ledger that you can't use defense reactions from hand, I believe, which we'll see when bad, when, uh, when that card gets. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's a zero it's cost. It's a double buff here. Oh, and it's that got tunic. tunic. Yeah. So this oh, wow. is going to probably come through. Oh. Um, that one's certainly not going at that dragon. It's going to come in for a big chunk of damage. A and it's going to be a blood drop on here. Dominate wow okay and a lot of on hit effects um it would be i'm not sure which of the buff it is um so i believe that one is the one where you can't use defense reactions from hand and uh based on jamie having a head scratch moment here mm. um this might be a little tricky predicament i just have to just all right, okay, so we've got a... So that's probably the one sand cover there. Sand. That, so that's an, actually a, an instant. So it yeah. can be played, gets around the dominate. Arsenal, um, three, like five. It's... I think that's a cover-up. I think he's managed to cover that up. So sand, yeah, so three, uh, five from the helmet. And then, um, oh no, maybe he ate no, actually... I no, he actually just took two. he's going to eat two, two and he's going to get a... Um... He's got one action and he's got uh, a blood rock pox. And uh, Azalea will just pass up and draw four. And he just plays the Miragi. Setting up the tumble tie, that. Yeah, that's pitching up there. He can't play that. Imagine he would love to have played that, but I think he might. I don't be... think he does. I think he. I think. I think that Jamie wants to set that up um, and do something clever with that in the late game. I don't know how has he managed to get two action points from. I think it. I think he blocked it out. He did block it out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Okay. 
Maths. <laughs> so we do see our first pop of the game now. So for those that aren't aware, the dragons do have Phantasm. Um, that means that um, the uh, Azalea player can pop with a six power card. I think I just figured out the maths. So for those that furnace. didn't quite work out the block, uh, <laughs> it, it was, was Crown and Furnace, yeah. stand cover for four and a three block from yeah, That hands. was it. I just missed out the Furnace. I don't know why. Just missed out that Furnace. Okay. Pitching the Not the Death Whistle. Loading. Seek and Destroy Seek into and destroy. Codex. Into so uh, codex. it's going to be a plus three buff. It's going to give a Frailty token to Jamie. He has a card in Arsenal, so he's not going to have to uh, discard from hand. And what are, we, what, what are we doing? What are we putting in? Probably, again, the... There's yeah, one really good one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best one in the game. We're coming in with a red and ledger. Are we going to do a flip? Just to flip that up. And have a look to see if we've got something pretty good to Azalea. And he's going to leave it on top. And he's just going to fire out the red and the ledger. So if Seek and Destroy uh, means that if it hits, you will lose your arsenal. At, you, you basically can't keep your arsenal at the end of your turn. And any cards left in hand also get destroyed. So that's the significance of Seek. They actually are destroyed, sent to the grave, as opposed to, uh, I believe it's Inertia, where they are put at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. That's so it, it is actually quite a good card for a kind of fatigue game because you're actually getting cards out of deck as opposed to just shuffling them back in. But Jamie, Jamie just does an easy block yeah. and plays a nice one card. One Monger's Diplomacy big popular card at the moment oh yeah this is going to really affect um, azalea because azalea as you can see likes to have a lot of non-attack actions and attack actions and the attack actions are all arrows and the non-attacks are all pumping the arrows so um he's picked war so he's not pumping any arrows this turn but he's going to be firing away and jamie's picked war as well because the other thing is that um Drama likes to play a lot of non-attacks. You know the 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 the, the cards that make the dragons. Yeah, I mean um, the incantations are non-attack mm. actions. So um, yeah, he's obviously just looking at his hand, going, uh, "It's not a dragon turn. Maybe it's a, I'm just going to come in attack from hand." Looks like Azalea's got a pretty decent hand for um, doing some attacking here. Um, actually, now I'm looking at it, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's in the arsenal. Uh, oh, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, a double rabble turn. Okay, he does, he does sink that rabble into the dragon. I think, you know, got to do something about fair. that dragons at some point, but, you know, Jamie's happy. Uh, he's basically just traded a dragon for, uh, for but, him. Uh, and he's, I had, uh, he's, Jamie's he's, going to play. So oh, a lovely, 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 lovely. That's, that's good. And out of all the attack action cards that are probably laced in his deck, this one's a really annoying one for all rangers. Yep. CNC, if it hits, you lose your arsenal and you can't play defense reacts against it. Wow. Okay. So this is a, well, this is taking a tempo. This is taking that tempo away. It's um, well, that's just two good disruptive turns in a row, right? The one yeah. diplomacy. Sure. You managed to play two um, uh, rabbles, but and it, 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 it's not what Azalea wants to be doing. No. Um, Jamie's happy to block that damage. Yeah. It needs to be disruption and dominate and something that he can't handle. And then to follow that up with a CNC, it's just a lot of disruption really putting the tempo back in Jamie's favor absolutely and uh, as well um you've got to imagine that a lot of the non-attacks saying um is alias deck as well all block for two so in order to stop the csc you've got to get rid of a lot of attacks in order to actually and, the, and these attacks are very very important for all rangers because you know they actually have they've got no weapon so there's they've got only so many threats to deal with so if you're blocking with your your means to win the game eventually in the long game this is going to be very problematic which i think jamie's just saying i'm happy either way bro you can either take six or i'm happy to just take some of these attacks away from you jamie's more than happy to be blocking just vanilla damage like yeah, oh, that's yeah. what his deck is plant meant to do Ooh, but Jeremiah, uh, not john Jeremiah, azalea again just doing fantastic work of just going look i can just pump pump play codex and look what's coming in oh okay interesting we're not going for the red and the ledger we're going for the infecting shot coming in now for five eight eleven big hits no dominate though Infecting Shot's going to make a Blood Rock Pox token on hit, which is that card where basically you have to pitch three at the end of the turn, where you take two damage. Obviously, Jamie's playing a lot of red cards. Mm -hmm. so it's going to be very difficult for him to do that. So these Blood Rock Poxes are quite effective against Dramai when you know that they have very few blues. Yeah, absolutely. But then Jamie's is probably just sitting there thinking, you know what, um, I can block this up. But he's just trying to work out how do I get some sort of um, 
board state mm. on the board after he's uh, blocked every, you know, I, I, after he's blocked up as much as he can, he's also probably sitting there thinking as well, you know, your life title is a resource. Mm. Can I just take a little bit of damage here to set up some board presence? But uh, obviously, um, no, we had a defense reaction sitting and in the, Arsenal. <laughs> one thing we didn't comment on is that we saw the Tomal tie being pitched. And did you see what the next card pitch was? I actually did miss that. A blue passing mirage. Oh, there so we go. So he's, he's perfectly he's setting up his pitch stack to be able <laughs> oh. to play that tumble tie out because oh. that's what you have to do is you have to pitch the blue and the tumble tie together. Yeah. And what Jamie's going to be doing is going to be playing these sinks, playing these fates, cycling through his deck as quickly as he can to play at that tumble tie. And, and then just secure, be, I think it would, secure the yeah, game that, that's, his, that's his win con, isn't it? That's going to be the point where Azalea will have to just resort to the blind Azalea, something she doesn't want. It's fun. It's it's fun to watch. It like, genuinely yeah, is fun. Yeah, like, uh, watching, uh, watching, I tell you what, watching Dromai play, and you know, we're going to say this, right? Because, um, you know, we're from, we're from the UK. We're UK casters. Jamie, as a Dromai player, is such a fantastic Dromai player to just watch. He he's he knows this deck inside out, and there's a, he's, it's just lots of confidence knowing that every minute decision point is just, you know, really thought through. Um, it's very rare to see someone that you know like him that plays Dromai this much to get it wrong so you you know just like these small things that i do even for me i just miss that and you're like oh yeah the tomotai and that passing mirage these, these are these are just the little small things that are coming up one thing about jamie though yeah never beat my katsu <laughs> okay the but we've got the the uh who to be very <laughs> when come on chat Who's coming in? The chat's coming in hot straight away. So we are, we, the, drone the thing is that we, we can't discount this as early no, because no, they no, are, no, they are not, doing exactly what they need it. to do, no, which is, is that they're playing these buffs, they're playing these go again cards, they're putting on a lot of pressure, trying to go as wide as they can to try and get some damage through Absolutely. on Jamie. And we are seeing that here with the, the lace from frail, uh, lace of inertia, apologies, the card we were talking about earlier into the bottom shot, giving it go again because its power is now greater than its base, reload on hit. Um, which is obviously very nice for Azalea because they can only do one activation of Death Dealer, unlike Lexi that can load two arrows in one turn. With Absolutely. Their bot there. Absolutely. And, and also, as you know, as you're saying, um, we just don't, we cannot rule out Azalea. Azalea has that thing, you know, she can go in those realms of what Bravo can do, right? And go, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to absolutely dominate, pump this awful arrow. And in that moment, you can't deal with it. And I'm just going to do it again and again and again. So she can uh definitely just pull out this insane amount of damage out of nowhere as well so just never rule this out but right at now at the minute the pace we're going right now is something that a dromai may potentially if jamie's playing this way he's looking this way a controlly dromai this is kind of the sort of you know the pace he wants yeah, and the E strike there gonna leak a bit of damage through Jamie committing a three card block to the first attack, so that seven is gonna come through. Uh but here we are again. A second uh Warmonger is coming out uh again. Uh, a quick pick of war there from Stefano. Maybe he actually has the cards in hand needed to have a turn. Jamie, Jamie going for peace. Peace. Um, peace bro. It's war versus with... peace, everybody. Yeah, absolutely. So then so this is this is an indicator. This is actually really interesting. It's a good face up indicator of I'm telling you my strategy. Mm next turn so that is saying oh to this is Stefan oh yeah this so this is saying to Stefano I'm going to be playing dragons next turn yeah that's because I can't really do anything much else and uh yeah here we so go face the rain razor face up and then comes with him with the red and the ledger for seven no dominate no dominate so this can get blocked up and um yeah we just know that St and stefano can just sit back and actually go yeah i know that the next turn as well you're not really going to come at me at all so i can come at you knowing i'm pretty much going to have a full hand next turn it, that's it's really interesting actually how warmongers actually does tell you face up values of your mm. strategy for next turn and it's an interesting one because obviously when you know you, when you're when you're playing it you're picking what you can do on your next yeah. turn and you don't know what your hand's going to be yet, no but the opponent knows what their hand is going to be yeah which is why icelander was so powerful playing it because you could play it and they uh, wouldn't know what their turn was going to be exactly so, yeah i know and in person's well, it's yeah. interesting because icelander would just go um it's peace bro because it's always but we're not we're it's not an icelander game so it's jamie a... actually let that um did that uh, did he block with an extra card there to um, prevent the red okay. in the ledger or did it actually get hit through i didn't quite see it looked like it was a block for six but maybe he's only planning on playing one card or not playing any card at all so okay. i didn't really mind for the red in the ledger to hit there yeah hit on one 
Um, hey, it's fine. It, you know, Jamie's probably just going to draw up this turn, so it doesn't really matter. If, you, if you're not going to play any action points, who cares if you can only play one? But the thing is, he might also potentially have seen, seen what's in this arsenal. He may just draw back up. He may just play that zero-cost dragon from the, from the arsenal. And, yeah, if it was really any other hero that... Um, oh, which he's you know he's just passing up, but so it doesn't matter. But Azalea, it's it's dealing with dragons is not that fun. Mm. So got another seek and destroy here turned up by the uh, Skullbone cross wrap going to be able to opt one on the top of the deck goes to the bottom. So probably not what Stefano wanted to see, or maybe something he wants at the bottom of his pitch stack. Uh, now going Azalea, I don't. Oh, we, this I guess is he doesn't Azalea. know what it actually is going to be. This is the blind Azalea doing the slow he... roll. Comes in with a codex. Okay, that's fine. Maybe he was kind of happy with yeah. any result. I think um, Codex there is okay. That's okay. But that's what we call a blind Azalea, everyone. He doesn't know. We don't know what's coming. He still hadn't used Death Dealer that turn, and he's got a Tunic resource, so he's probably thinking, whatever happens, I could probably cover it, even if it's the worst worst outcome. Yeah. Boss, yeah. It does give J Jamie information, though. Yeah. Because now Jamie kind of, J Jamie probably already knows this, but kind of knows that mm, maybe Stefan is probably not running cards that could brick him or could be really awkward to play out of Arsenal here because, you know... It, it, it's basically saying to Jamie, okay, this, this is Azalea player is running all gas and all cards that are easily playable for the Arsenal. And that, that is useful information, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, either way, he's got um, he's got to play this out because he can't really do much with that in the Arsenal. So he's got a arrow of choice. Goes for the bottom shot. Goes for the bottom shot. Okay, so he... That tells... Is he and he's meant to show that to the opponent while he's picking? I'm thinking, yeah, you've got to show what's being played, right? I think it goes face down in Arsenal. It does go face down, but he's got to know. He's got to show what's going face down in Arsenal mm. because you've got to pick a card, right? An attack action card. Don't believe so. Here, and there, each hero that does just put an attack to... put an attack action card in their graveyard face down in Arsenal. So I don't believe it has to be revealed. Uh, uh, yeah, no. I well, regardless. Um, so he's putting that Bolton shot in. He is, of course, coming in for the pump. Premeditation pre has plus three, and if this hits, is it the next? Is the next attack action card that hits, or if this attack action card? It's all turns. So if any attack action card hits it's, this turn, we make a ponder it's, token. It's like the um, plunder run, isn't it? Exactly like plunder <laughs> It's run, like yeah. plunder run. So this is coming in for a seven go again. If this hits, it will be able to reload a card in Arsenal or oh, Rain Razor as well. Getting plus two into the end of the turn. Nine. Nine. People Taking in the chat nine. saying you're right, Hamish. It should be public information, I guess, because it was played so quickly. It doesn't really matter. But... I, it doesn't, I think you, you can just say, I'm putting this ball on shot. Yeah. Into my, and then Jamie's like, no, It was probably fine. vocalized by the player. And yeah, no, that's good. fine. Because it's, if it's all face up cards in the bin, you know, it should be public information. But it doesn't matter. It's all fine. I just like to be technical. You know? All good in the hood, y'all. It's all good in the hood. Oh, and he's using the deaf dealer. Let's put another one in, and it's going to get go again. Again, go again, again. Yeah, so the Rain Razor's here doing work, hitting two Bolton shots, which is really, really good, giving them both go again. Maybe we've it's... got two Ponder tokens as well. I don't mean the two Ponder tokens. That doesn't really... It's, 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 the, no, it's, it's, it's the next time a attack hits. So where did the other Ponder so he looks, from? So he's got, I believe, he, you know, he got the Ponder token from the Codex of Frailty. Oh, of course, yeah. And then he gets another one from the pre -meditate. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, no, I know, yeah, you see. <laughs> And uh, I think it's pretty cool. I know it seems like a bit of a, oh, I draw two cards, but yeah, at least you get to pick and choose what you want to put in that arsenal, which is really important for Azalea. So Yendere, a really tricky card for Azalea oh, to deal with because you basically have to that. hit it twice, but it looks, has the battering, uh, has the barraging bolt uh, at the perfect time there, getting the pop. Wow. Probably that many poppers That's... in the uh, Azalea player's deck. I'd probably put a few in for this matchup. So that was a, a good time for that to appear because that Yendere would have been very difficult for them to deal with, has to hit it twice. Yeah. Um, Droma, he needs to you actually test the water on this. You know, there's an inevitability of these poppers actually going to show up, and you just got to go right. Come on, give me it here. You know, I've got more poppers than what you've got, but I need to I need to eke them out. Stefano looking good, put in pressure yeah, on. No, James' yeah. life title has been going down, going down. He, honestly, I mean, is this is what Azalea can do? She can just put on these it's big attacks, and there's more big attacks than what. Um, Jamie has in defense mm. reactions. But so Jamie's working, working through that pitch stack. Um, we haven't managed to see a bit of a board state as well, mm. because that's what Azalea has been commanding this whole point, this whole time, just 
delivering big hits that Jamie has to give up his hand to stop these ma these really impactful hits from taking place. He just needs to start getting some little dragons on the board, even if he's just throwing a rake down. I don't think he does. I, Do you not I, think? No, I think he's he's got a plan. His plan is to block. He he doesn't he he knows he can win this game long game, just like the uh, the control warrior players were doing the other day. Yeah, they know that. Yeah, how many times were they swinging their axes? We got to a game the other day where the guy essentially just needed to swing his axe fourteen times to win the game because the other player had no cards. No, I, 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 I think you. that's what James is going for. Fair, uh, fair enough, fair enough. But at the same time, you know, he, even if you can just put a dragon down on the board, that's still achieving that same effect, right? And I think Jamie will is is playing to his second cycle, playing to that Yunderai. Of course, wants to get that down, and then we'll, well, we do see an interesting pitch here actually from the. Uh, from the Stefano here, Rain raises with a Remorseless. That's quite a nice one to come back around the next time. So it's going to do some work for him. Yeah, absolutely. So Jamie uh, just sitting there blocking up for five. Yeah, and Jamie's checking it out too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just arsening up, passing up, Jamie on 20, Stefano on 34. Yeah, as Daniel's saying in the chat, um, must be running low on arrows. Probably still got a few left, yeah, but, uh, quite, quite a few, quite a few left. left. Yeah, but yeah. we'll be getting there. We'll be getting to that point. Um, Waiting for that tumble tie, bro. Mm. This is the thing about Azalea, though. They're able to run, like, um, not too many blues. Mm. And some of the yellow arrows are impactful, too. So I still think it's really cool. Oh. I, I, I love the fact that we've, in this in the UK calling, we've got a 7-1 and one Azalea coming in. This meta is seemingly just here, there, and everywhere at this, this point. This is the beauty of public events. This oh, is the beauty of, yeah. like, I know we've got a lot of the top players, you know, rise to the top, but beautiful thing about the calling uh, as a format is that anyone can enter you just have to pay for your ticket uh, people bring in all sorts of decks all sorts of fun stuff and it's been fantastic to see throughout the tournament be being able to give you so many great different games and you know seven and ones x and zeros throughout and we've we've shown nearly a different hero on stream every single round i know and there's been some really really amazing decks that we've seen um played throughout throughout the stream as well some really so a lot of innovation as well especially from i know we're talking about the uh, azalea and jamie one but just on a very quick note that bolton game with the shield and saber was something of a little small highlight for me because i was just and sword, the board and sword, we saw a board and sword so they're calling in full effect here we go now azalea coming in doing her um pump and fire with a drill shot dominate due to the azalea hero effect and um, lots of scary on hits so pushing these 10 and 11 uh, damage dominated attacks only able to defend with one card from hand can of course defend from arsenal uh, the other thing is Jamie does run quite a few of the uh, preventions, but we did see him pitch an Oasis to play an Oasis very early on in the game. So mm -hmm. Stefano knows that um, that's one card that's probably not going to come around for a little bit. So we're coming um, in with a furnace. We've got a sink below from hand. Sinking this, sinking. A... The thing we, we mentioned it earlier, but every time Jamie sinks a card, one card closer to that pitch stack. Yeah, absolutely. Whoa, I don't know whether he just drew that up, but that's a... He's so really got, good. He's got, he's got a cover. That's and a, cover just there. That's a big. Probably uh, going to save the day, but he I, is still a little bit short. He, he, by one. Probably oh, by yeah. one. He and Jamie is, is down to one ash. He needs to be careful if he uses his last ash. That, I, think that's what he's, I think that's what's going through his head right now. And there's Simon swooping in in there. Oh, because he is. Um, Okay, so I think what so. He before did the there, turn ended, he, he uh, used his furnace to gain an ash. To gain an ash yeah. with the sand cover. Yeah, that he, yeah. to get the sand cover <laughs> yeah. back in deck, essentially. Yeah, so because he needs to get these, he did, just to have something later on. So before the, the furnace breaks at the end of the combat chain, Jamie just using it to get an additional ash there uh, mm -hmm. by pitching, not gaining a resource, um, but okay. So he's pitching he's a red, a gain red an ash, defense reaction, spends an ash. So that he can get the first little dragon. First Ashwing on the field this game. And a burn them all going to enter play here. Okay, now this is going to be where the real chip starts coming in now. But So this is where Jamie needs to banish red cards from his graveyard. And then every time he attacks with a dragon, he'll deal one arcane damage to Stefano. Stefano got no AB, so he will have to deal with dragons. Oh, he does have AB. Clock. Score up. Oh, he's got score up. Score up. Thank you. I know, Thank yeah, you, score up. I always I was, forget. I was, just gonna I, say, I was thinking there. so much about bullseye braces. I know. And I was like, they've lost their AB. But no, they do have AB, but Stefano probably not going to be wanting to pitch to that. I, maybe maybe not. I, I mean, but still, he has a way near the end game, if it matters, to pitch a blow up and at least stop, or a red to stop something. But that's probably working in Jamie's favor to just strip a card from hand as well. 
stats, but Jamie's on 15 health. I mean, it's getting, you know, his, his ability to use his health as a resource to, you know, to keep some command of tempo of board state or something starting to get harder and harder at this point. 15's, is it, would you say it's, a little, it's getting a little bit close? No. I, think I knew that, you were going to say that. I think Jamie is very comfortable. I think you look at 15 and you think, wow, that's tricky. He's still very safe from one dominated attack that he can't deal with. Uh, after that, though, things start to get a bit dicey. If he just draws a bad hand Trip, and Azalea is, is able to get a huge dominated attack off, it, it could be game. But I think Trip, for now, it's they're a good still job you're here. It's a, good, it's a good job you're here. What? Holding my hand. Yeah. Make, making me look at this Support, and thinking, supporting oh you. Is this, is this going to is this gonna be, oh, this is a popper. Is this something Stefano wanted to see? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's still a big hit coming in for nine. And if this hits, it will actually just, it will tear up anything that's not an action card. Is that right? Wait for Barry to so, play. Um, well, it's, it's, it's been played with a lace with blood rot. So trying to present a little bit of additional damage that Jamie's yeah. going to have trouble to deal with. Um, Stefano seeing no no card in Arsenal there, so you know um, you just don't see cards enough. Here we go. Baron reveal Bolt. cards, discard all cards other than action cards. Ah. Lose one health for each card discarded this way. Um, so it's defense reactions. Um, other than spectrum. action cards, so yeah, I'm, reactions. I'm not going to go for every card. <laughs> so play the sigil out from hand. I'm going to think it, um, thinking loud in my head. So gains three. Gains. Um, I th Jamie going straight in with shortcut. Oh, he's just kind of just going down and do it. This is how it's working. And, oh, okay. Has the blue though, so can prevent the, 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 um, the blood rot if they wish to do so. Okay, right. Um, okay. I don't, there's a lot of, uh, just, Oh, I think I know what he was doing. He was saying the Dromar was just the wrong way around. Is it cool? Maybe to swap it up? Maybe. I, Maybe I think I they're know. just having a little a little chat, working out the blocks there. Jamie down to, to, to 12. So, Baron Bot having a small effect there. I think he took uh, one point damage. Or was he on 13? It, yeah. I, but... I think it basically, the, the actual Baron Game Bolt's three, effect yeah. wasn't really so a he, thing. He so, I was just, just trying to check that he definitely played. Yeah, played the sigil out. Uh, gained three, lost six. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, okay, it, gained three, know, lost Did six. manage to play that because, you know, can play in response to the. Uh, the uh the 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 battering bolt coming through so um okay so uh burn the mall firing he's just going to pitch up the blue so he doesn't take the two damage from the blood rot yep. arsenaling the um dominia that's dominia. how you say it. the arsenal the dominion uh, i assume jamie feels like he can play it out or well, he, he doesn't needs... feel like he's going to need his arsenal but he's going to need four costs i mean that's a blue and a red here i mean he's got to do a two card the dominia is five out. as well so dominia is four uh, it's Tumultize Tumultize five. Five. Yeah, Tumultize yeah. five. So it's a, it's still a two card pitch to play this out. And when if he does get this out, I mean, this could be a really big swing to having a look at his hand and banish a card if he can get it out. But right now he's got a he's got to weather the storm of what's coming his way from Azalea, especially if it's a dominate attack. Yeah, because Jamie's gonna wanna. Oh, okay. Um. So just having a discussion. Having here. a discussion, yeah. Um, finding out what's going on, but he's um, showing him. <laughs> I've got Dominion in the Arsenal. Explaining. Oh, he's just he's explaining, just explaining Dominion, Dominion because it was Stefano knew it was the last card in hand because they had to reveal their hand when the battering bolt uh, uh, yeah, came sure, through. Sure. So he just wanted so, to know what it is. So doing. there was no harm there, and Jamie no, just no, revealing cool. what it was because Stefano just wanted to understand what that card did. Uh, and Jamie just he Jamie knows that Stefano knows that that's in there, so just showing it to make life a little bit easier for them. Might yeah, look a bit weird on stream, but that's basically no, yeah, what's absolutely, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. So coming in for a ravenous ramble, we're revealing a remorseless. So ravenous ramble coming in for four. Go again, Jamie is just well. I, I imagine he's going to want to definitely block this up. So he's uh, yeah, he's going in for the sink, clean block. Yeah, just shut that down. Yeah, but remorseless it's not over on top yet. of the deck. That's interesting to know as well. It's not over yet though. So. Stefano closing the chain and he's doing an Azalea, of course. He's got, he knows he's got Remorseless on the top of his deck. He's got a buff in hand as well, so probably going to make this go over the top a little bit and I decide mean, he, what he wants to do there. He doesn't even need to pitch either, he's just got a tunic ready to go. And we know this is going to be a dominate. Okay. So it plays got... out the dead eye to try and get more discards on here. It's not, he needs to have an aim counter on it. Oh yes, so the, the, so the dead eye is just, uh, a buff. just a buff. So yeah. another plus three, so plus six, up to nine. Eleven. Eleven in total. Blocking for three, taking 
eight. I can math. Jamie taking a big hit there. Clearly got something that he wants to do. Needs to get yeah, the Dominion out of Arsenal. <laughs> Always got the rake. Okay. So, I mean, this is... Wow. You know, everyone's... We've, we've all been putting on the... on the. This you teach the money. We're putting the money onto a, a Troma here. I mean, Troma is taking... This is the thing licking, that Jamie always you know? says is that you can't just not, you have to do something. If, even if you're playing control, you can't just sit back well, and block all the time. That's the point. You day. can't just block all the time. He's so got to put the board press And Jamie's decided to use his life now to to develop something. Okay. Uh, get those ash wings out, start to overpower the board. But going down to three, three is risky. I mean, this is a dominate. You know, this is this is the point of like, you know, when we're saying that Zeta can come down and do these big, massive dominated hits, it feels very much like in the world of what Bravo can do. Mm. He's used a lot of his uh, defense reactions and yet um the inertia the token has just put that and the inertia Dominion actually doing him a bottom. favor there allowing yeah. him to clear that out of the answer yeah, I, don't, I think that would have been stuck in there but again he's been pitch stacking as well wonder if he's still got a couple of those oasises that is coming up now as well as the sand cover i think he's um he's having a think here but Just how many careful. threats left have we got left as well from azalea how many pumps have we careful. been using Three health. This is what we were saying earlier when you asked me, Hamish, was I worried about 15 health? No, I was not. I'm a lot more worried about yeah, three. Yeah, no, absolutely. Small deck. Oh, they've both got small deck sizes. Now, okay, this is actually very interesting. I wonder if we can just move over to the Stefano cam just really quickly, just to sort of just show, look at the size of his grave, his, his graveyard, the size of, the, um, of his deck as well. It's very small. So actually, this free health is still very, still very scary. Still very scary. But Zelia's running out of gas. Thing about Jamie as well is he's seen every single card you've pitched. That is that is how uh, good he is. So he's he knows Jamie could probably tell you every single card that's in Stefano's deck right now, and I don't say that lightly. No, no, no. He, I mean, not uh, probably about a good ninety percent. Yeah. And here we are. Oh, that one card. I probably, the one probably thing that Jamie account. doesn't know is any cards that were sunk by E-Strike. That's possibly where Stefano might be able to get around. Or any cards that were face down, potentially that they're, they're just been this alien. So, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know if that actually happened to Classic lot, but... Jamie look there. Yeah, he's um, looking like a beetroot. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to say it, is there? <laughs> that is it. He's, uh, he's on fire. He's on fire. But then again, we're coming in with these, you know, blue arrows now. How many rain raisers have been played as well? Actually, they're they're the they're the tricky cards to get around. Is there a buff on this? I'd say this is probably what he's having a look as well. No, it's no, it's just coming in for two. But this is my point. Why would you come in for two? Dominate? Two and dominate. Okay, but that just tells you know Jamie's sitting there looking at us, going, "Are you trying to bait me out for rain raisers?" He's just counting up. Do we have a rain raisers? I mean, this feels very much as well. There has been worlds where, you know, you actually just look at a control drama style thing and you look at that health and you go, oh my word. But actually, yeah, you know, the deck size is actually a very important factor in that's actually, you know, my, if as long as I'm not dead, I'm winning. Two dominate everybody. It's a scary number. <laughs> is there, what was the card that used to do that? Was it? Um, Overload. Overload. Three dominate on hit Gengar again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good Briar card. Uh, really good in Briar. Yeah. Like, right, <laughs> really good yeah. Briar card. Two I'm, uh, I'm, I'm struggling here, uh, Hamish. What? It, two, two, two dominate. Is well, it? No, is, it has to be a rain raiser in it hand, surely. I mean, but I, I, what, I think he's probably just baiting it out. He's probably sitting there going. But I didn't you, you, you see tell it. Me. Maybe I missed it. No, but... no, but you don't have to. You can play it. It's an instant. So he doesn't have to play it right now. He's just. No, just... I know that, but I don't think he's got it. Well, Jamie don't know that. And we're pretty this sure. This is like warrior tactics here. You don't know I ain't got it. The thing is, as well, to do? dominate with it, I mean, and so I just, I'm just not Jamie, seeing it, guys. No, I know, fair. I mean, I mean, Jamie's probably just looking at his hand, going, um, you know, okay, um, I could just uh, block for three. This could um, be the opportunity for Jamie to really re-enter this game. I, yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, this is the perfect time for him if it, if he's coming into. I'm not sure what cards Jamie's got in his hand, but it, it, he is due to come back to that um, um, that tumult eye. Uh, but you know, to dominate is, you know, it's it's summoned chat loving it chat is loving the two dominate first time on uk calling two dominate i'm loving it first two dominate the tournament everybody everybody two dominate hashtag two dominate
<laughs> okay, it's so not like cool as a cucumber. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I mean, um, checking his grave. Uh, no, didn't didn't look like, so cool there. <laughs> <laughs> like, hmm, there seems to be all the wrong reasons. Yeah, <laughs> oh, maybe uh, maybe the bait didn't work. I don't know. I I can't remember. I don't think he actually does have this in his hand, but even so i'm, I'm yeah it's, uh, yeah someone in the chat was right yeah i pointed out didn't i that well, the rain raises was pitched with the remorseless and i'm not sure if he's drawn back into that oh, yet oh hang on yeah maybe it just drew remorseless previous turn yeah, it did drew remorseless then this is a beautiful game because we're, we're watching two heroes that are no. both working to a second pitch stack and it, it's it it's looking like maybe <laughs> Maybe um, Stefano also Stefano hasn't hang on, quite man. lined up the way he wanted, but I'm I'm waiting to see him do something crazy here. Maybe. And I think uh, Jamie's waiting to see what. Oh, he's just. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> we... <laughs> I, I, that is, is, the the reason a, we're laughing. That's a beautiful the, Jamie. The reason we're laughing is because Jamie will make a decision, and then go, "Hang on, what?" And that is the classic. Hang on, what? I wonder if uh... Jamie blocks for three. I wonder if no, that's... he didn't block. He took it. Jamie went down to one. Yeah, Jamie took that too. And that's when he picked up and went, "Huh?" Plays Making out. Sure he, nothing Pro else was coming. Okay, so this is obviously the big tempo swing he was hoping for. Um, I wonder if he still got that. Is he still got any sigils? So uh, Moragi, sorry, yeah, yeah, thank yeah, Moragi. you. Moragi. Now the dragons lo lose. Uh, lose this... and can't gain phantasm. Yeah, so first this dragon is attack now, this turn. This is now the first time we're now actually seeing. Well, Dromai now really just properly come in means with, that if jamie state. does develop the tumble tie it will be won't get popped. i think that maybe we're too late for that tumble tie uh, because i don't i don't think you now need the tumble tie to win this the board game. state is in a yeah the board state is getting out of control but jamie's on one health jamie is on one health but have we played all three sigils uh, we've seen one we've, we've seen, seen one. maybe have we got another um We'll see. We know Jamie's got uh, had a, an Oasis respite left in deck. We I'm know curious. that Jamie plays a lot of defense reacts. He's he's sitting here on one health, but he he, I'm he seems to be in he control. That, he took a two dominate to the face. Clearly needed his resources to develop those dragons. Needed to get that phantasm card down, uh, that anti phantasm card down in the uh, Moragi. Mm. It's a fantastic okay. game. I'm really enjoying. Oh, this I'm one. actually really enjoying this. It was, it, it, it's Azalea has just been the you know the commanding force throughout most of the game, but it is just a matter of weathering this storm and waiting for the. Have you? Are you done? Are you done <laughs> punching me in the face? Yeah. Many many times with dominated arrows that are really scary. With multiple on hits. You've been doing that all day, and are we at this point now where it's like? Are we, you know, we got a little bit left. So but... Jamie's down to one Ash. That means that if he does want to develop Tumultai, he can, but that means that his send cover becomes a dead card unless he's able to develop another Ash. I still don't think that the Tumultai. He is... does, however, have an Oasis. If he needs to play that, it could pinch red to do that and make another Ash there. So that could be the second Ash that he requires. Amy doesn't think Tumultai is going to be relevant. I think you you could be right at this point. I, I think, think it could be he... just that he's just going to block this Azalea out of cards yeah. in deck. If it was a, definitely a, like a mid game point where he had the. Like Tumultai is one of those cards that have this opportunity. Do I have the opportunity to do this and then just completely snatch the game away from you but sometimes it's just not always correct to go i'm going to take a load of damage to do this because it might be too much damage to actually make the impact on destroying this equipment matter but um with one health as well there's no way you can get around not taking damage to play tunnel time so i think he's going to have to potentially um, i feel so here we go idea. this is a big time for here for stefano okay red so, card on top oh this is, is this now has dominate the card has dominate have we got some big pumps in hand i think we're actually left with arrows maybe that's why we're where we're at but it is a dominate for four does jamie have enough to cover i, mean, I think he's he might. literally got no choice but to have a sand cover or a city he's got an oasis or an oasis i think it's oasis in arsenal i mean if it wasn't a, see here's the tunnel tie and Blocking for three. There we go. You were right, Hamish. Yeah, Just no, using he's that not going to use it. He doesn't need that. But then he's got to give. He's got to deliver something. And we're going to pitch up for it the is. Oasis. Going to so, heal one. And I think he's actually trying to play around the Rain Razor that he that's still floating around, waiting to just sneak over and just uh, and claim the win. Um, so that's probably why he had to massively overblock in that moment. Well, you just want to not die because he could only block. For <laughs> I was just going to say, look, come on, man, give me a break, give me a break. <laughs> I say as I see. It's pretty important in the game to uh, 
to, to oh, not to not okay. lose. This is good. So Jamie's been able to develop a red card, giving all of That's his dragons go again. Going to be big because I mean, if he, he's going to come in for four, take was well, take one arcane. He's going to take that arcane. Come in for four, go again because he's played if a red this card. Caloria hits. This is Jamie's going to draw a card. Yeah, he's now be... got a lot of damage on the board. Five ash wings. How many floating? He's got two and a mirage. He's got two resources. And the one flying. damage from Burn Them All. He's got two resources in the passing mirage. He's now up to two ash as well. Stefani's probably going to have to wow to block here. Yeah. He yeah. can't. Can he allow the draw from Caloria? Uh, no. I. I. To be honest, um, no. No, he can't because that four damage, like a snatch, snatch go again. Two resources on the board. Loads of red cards. Low cost value stuff that could just easily, you know, turn into another four or five more damage so no i don't believe he can let that happen five ash wings coming through stefano yeah. looking like he's going to take them all yeah and then the Moragi. i think he's just saying yeah i don't believe you have a popper because if you did you want to stop all this tempo right so oh look at the hell titles now we're at 22 to one and now we're down from six to two can stefano get through two damage here he's jamie okay all right so, so this is really oh i saw it there i saw the rain razor there it is this could be this is the card i think that's gonna he's gonna need to sort of try and push this through and uh just coming in from the from the booth from the allen booth the pablo pin what is this card on the top of the deck oh it's okay. a buff it's a buff okay the card we'll, will we'll, need we'll to be you, pitched we'll here to about... load the arrow i'll give you the news about pablo after this turn no dominate no dominate Okay, Jamie doesn't even need to keep, he just probably just needs to keep one red zero cost in hand and just to enable this go again, he can just try and look at covering this all up. It's a remorseless. Remorseless is going to be pretty impactful here. He, he, he I don't really believe he can play defense reactions from, from Arsenal, which is, which is no big... I think remorseless is from hand. No, I think remorseless is from Arsenal. We'll find out. Another oh, buff. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going for this big buff. I think this is, this is the big move that we've got to do we've got a sand cover in hand we've got a sink below he's pitch stacking these big defenses can we get remorseless up on the screen let's check out this card what it's doing yeah 11 damage i if it is coming from hands and you're right i am because that means i am wrong if i'm wrong <laughs> jamie's good if i'm right then jamie's that fake can't good. be played yeah 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 100 percent. okay so Jamie ash. correcting his ash. Jamie's correcting his ash. So just while everyone's thinking, just anyone's update, uh, anyone from anyone's interested, news from the booth. Well, no, let's Alan. let's fo let's focus on this game for now, and when we wrap it up, we can talk it through because this is good. This is the this is the turn of the game, right? Defense reactions I know, can't be Jamie's played from a Arsenal. So I mean, defense reactions be can't be played from Arsenal. So Hamish was right. Jamie should have this covered, but he's worried. What has Stefano got in hand? And I think we know, don't we? It's my razor. So what is it? Nine block, four? Then. Has Jamie got it exactly covered? Uh, so three, seven, eleven. Rain razor. Rain razor comes down. That is, is the that face it? of... He added it up wrong. He could have just thrown his hand at it. If this. Jamie threw his hand at it, could have blocked. Oh, oh, and that's it. It's Stefan is going to take it. Had a two block in hand, maybe with that card. He, 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 he just needed. He needed to throw his whole hand, hand on it. He, he did not manage to do so. And Stefano wow. taking that game, incredible. Wow. Just enough at the end. Oh. Had the razor, uh, rain razors at the right time there. Wow. We were worried that it was not going to come around, but it did. Jamie not quite blocking enough to actually take down that game. What a fantastic game! But an incredible. It looked like Jamie was getting back in it. One yeah, health, well, he did. I mean, but he had the blocks needed. It was just had it's the board sneaky, state. sneaky razor, man. Azalea not even dominating that attack, but it was just too much damage, and Jamie could not cover it. But then he he, he was obviously sitting there thinking... What a game, everybody. What a fantastic yeah. game. I hope you all enjoyed that one. I Well, I said at the start, I thought it was going to be all Dromai, and I it, it felt like at the end it look, was going, but look, Stefano absolutely turned it around. It is a safe... It's, it, you know, you this, this, there is such things as safe bets. Safe doesn't mean secure. So at the end of the day, he... Uh, the Xavier player was coming out um, with big attacks, making meaningful uh, steps to make sure that his health total was low enough at the point Jamie needs to make that pivot turn. 
And I think it was just really good. You know, in the end, it was just a real good pitch stack to making sure that that Rain Razor coming on later on is going to help close that game out. And it just Well, we were out. saying throughout that Stefano was doing exactly what he needed to do, push as much damage as possible, chip down. And for a while, it looks like Jamie had everything covered. He he just, out, and then suddenly he was getting that damage through little by little. It, it was not huge but it was bits and bits and bits absolutely and it, even but, with the disruption from jamie we saw the warmongers in the middle of the game we saw a cnc yeah. stefano just worked through it yeah absolutely if jamie i think at that time as well he was just sitting here thinking and we also said oh yeah he's probably read every card right <laughs> he missed that one and I it was a big crucial it he was the most important card, but it. we were saying throughout the game that stefano was um using uh e-strikes to put hidden information at the bottom of the deck yeah when he puts a card from e-striker it's, it, it's it's the oldest trick in the fab book is like you Absolutely. know every card in the opponent's deck, apart from the ones that get put there by E Strike, by Sync, and that's how you can hide information. By Azalea as well. Just yeah. put that fa card face down in Arsenal and go, okay, Azalea, let's have a look at the top t card of your deck. And, it's just and I have no doubt that Stefano is trying to do that, trying to hide information, knows that at this yeah. at this stage of the tournament, the quality is so high. And and, and I was saying to you, I said to you, Hamish, I bet um, Jamie knows every card in your deck. You said to me, no, it's probably about 90%. And that, that yeah, is that, the case. There you go. And it was those hidden cards that allowed Stefano to take that game. And in what is an incredibly difficult matchup for Azalea, but absolutely doing incredible absolutely. going into day two like a storm. So, we're going to. No, I, I, you know, I'm bad at the start. Those, those percentages were not oh, 53 yeah, to no, 46. They, they but minute, people so had we... faith in Azalea, people had faith in France, uh, <laughs> uh, in Stefano. So, I was going to, while well, we're going for that very point, get, uh, tense point of the game, and, and Trip did have, you know, brought me back to reality it was just a very tense moment just in case anyone was uh interested we've got a submarine pablo going on here with an eight and one just to give you a little it's, bit of an update it's the pablo way it's the pablo we way we lose round one and then beat the rest of the tournament absolutely uh it was so fantastic we, so we're going to go move on to some more community videos and then hope, maybe we're going to get baz bringing in the azaleo for a quick interview but thank you so much uh we'll be we'll what be a great back. game and we're going to have a load more of them for you today see you guys Absolutely.